This little piece of kit is the Contax TLA140 and is an on-camera flash designed for the Contax G series of cameras. It's the baby brother of the Contax TLA200 and is arguably a smaller and less useful flash unit, but I love it and I found myself using it more and more frequently recently. Let's take a look why. As I said, the Contax TLA140 is a compact on-camera flash made by Contax specifically for the G series of cameras and was actually released at the same time as the Contax G1, which I own. It's incredibly small and very light at just 99 grams when it has a battery in it, which for reference, the flash takes CR123 batteries, which are super common and easy to buy online, or I just go to my local supermarket and pick them up there. It's designed with this beautiful titanium finish that perfectly matches my Contax Contax G1 and although it does stand a little tall on top of the camera, it definitely fits in with the premium look and feel of my Contax G1. These images were from the first time that I ever used the TLA140. I'd recently got it and took it out with me on my G1 to take some photos of my friends and I as we went out for a birthday celebration in London. For all of these images, I set the flash to TTL, which is essentially an automatic mode that I will go into a little bit more detail about shortly. But as far as first impressions went of shooting with the TLA140, it was an absolute breeze, even in these super dark conditions. I let the camera and flash do all of the metering for me, so there was no human error. The camera focused pretty well, considering how the G1 can sometimes struggle, particularly in the dark, and the result was some really nicely exposed images. The TLA140 is actually the lesser powerful of the two contact flashes available for the G series of cameras. The TLA140 is rated at a guide number of 14 meters at ISO 100. This guide number is used for calculating the aperture you need to select depending on how far away your subject is from the camera. The easy calculation needed for this is simply the guide number divided by the distance to subject, essentially meaning that if using the flash manually at ISO 100 and your subject was seven meters away, you'd need to use an aperture of F2. 14 divided by seven is two. Or if your subject was one meter away, you'd do 14 divided by one, which gets you 14. So you'd need to use an aperture around there. This is only necessary if you're shooting in the manual mode on the flash. If you use the TTL mode, it adjusts the flash strength accordingly. I also very recently took my Contax G1 and TLA140 to my brother's wedding to take a few photos of the celebrations later on in the evening after the official photographers had gone home. I had had a few glasses of wine, left the camera once again on TTL mode, and here's a few images from that night, all shot with this flash and my G1. All of those images were shot in the TTL mode and honestly I've been super happy with every exposure that I've got from the flash when shooting in the TTL mode and so 99% of the time that I've used this flash unit I just leave it set in that TTL mode. The Contax G1 does have a few little nifty tools to help you understand using the TLA140 a little more and to ensure that you get well exposed images for the majority of the time. Firstly, a small lightning bolt flash image will turn on in the viewfinder when the flash is correctly attached and ready to fire. The lowest the shutter speed will go is 1 60th of a second and this will show in the viewfinder also. If the image is bright enough that the shutter speed can go anywhere up to 1 100th of a second, 
then this will also show in the viewfinder. If the image needs a faster shutter speed than 1 100th of a second, then a small triangle will blink next to the shutter speed, informing you that most likely the image will end up overexposed as it cannot select a shutter speed faster than that. Not only that, but also once your image has been taken and the flash has fired, the lightning bolt flash image will blink for two seconds if the subject is correctly exposed. If it doesn't blink for those two seconds, then the subject is more than likely underexposed. So shooting in the TTL mode is actually made really quite simple by the TLA140 and the Contax G1. And like I've said, I've had zero issues with this so far and find it to actually be quite intuitive to use. Last week, I decided to really test myself and the TLA140 and plan a photo shoot with my friend Carmela, where we purely used the Contax G1 paired with my 28 millimeter lens and the TLA140 flash for every single image that we took. We planned a little portrait slash fashion photo shoot. And honestly, these are some of my favorite images that I've taken with the Contax G1 so far. I personally think that they came out great and I hope that you really enjoy them too. Final point to make about this flash and one of the reasons I really enjoy using it for flash photography, particularly of people, is that because the flash unit is so high and far away from the lens, it greatly reduces the chance of any red eye that you may get in your images. Despite the fact that the TLA200 is twice more powerful than the TLA140, because of its height and being lower to the lens, it runs a greater risk of getting red eye within the images. In that shoot that I did with Carmela, I didn't have a single case of red eye, which may not have been the case had I been using the more powerful TLA200. And personally, I found the strength of the TLA140 to be absolutely fine for everything that I've needed it so far. The only downside for me thus far has been that this particular unit seems to drain the battery even when it's turned off. So I have to take out the battery between all of my shoots, otherwise it drains it completely. I know that the TLA140 doesn't have a standby mode, but I assumed when set to the off position that it wouldn't drain any of the battery. This most likely is just a fault with my particular unit and I haven't found anything else about it online, but it's just something to note from my own experience. If you enjoyed this one, please feel free to leave me a like. Let me know your thoughts down below on any of the images or with your thoughts about the TLA140. Perhaps you've shot with it and have a lot of experience that you'd like to share, or perhaps after watching this, you're gonna pick one up now for your camera. And if so, I'd love to see some of the work that you create with it. And of course, if you'd like to see more of my videos, you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one.